Good morning and welcome to a, I was going to say very wet Leitrim, but it's just wet. It's not very wet. No. It's raining. We're out here. Um, Blossom Watch will be coming up, providing the rain hasn't got rid of the blossoms. Dawn is on the wall. I'm trying. I haven't done a whole lot of filming just because I don't want to get the camera wet. But, but it is is being exposed more and more and more. My plan, I'm just going to cut the ivy from around the trunks on these trees. Um, I'm not pulling any ivy today. And also the big conker tree through there. They're just blatant ivy. Um, they're not branches. I suppose they're trunks. If it was a tree, it would be a trunk. Um, so I'll be cutting through those as well and we will film what we can yeah we, is, be able to do a lot, but. we do need the rain because we're super low on water rain harvesting is really nice mm. until you get low on water <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah we the, the rain is welcomed because we are low on water it's all looking really good we're really pleased for those who have been watching since the gazebo workshop days there's the side of the or one of the sides of the gazebo covering the bits and pieces up in the yeah so it did actually come in handy it did <laughs> yeah covering Even up it blew down. covering up the wheelbarrow i've still got a pile to chip but i will be cutting the ends of the of the black currants off because we're planning on uh, where the dead hedge will go there we're gonna possibly put some black currants in there they could grow or whatever but it'd be a shame to just chip everything so that's what we're up to today um, in the rain make us grow you never know we might be taller by the end of the day but we will film what we can um, it may be a really really short video I don't know yet if it is, there's always tomorrow. So where I said I was just going to cut a little bit of a band, I find it very hard to stop once I start. But I have, I've taken the um, moss back as well as cutting the ivy off and it's exposed all its twisted roots. Which, yeah the ivy's huge. 
I know in America you get very old trees with the roots exposed and twisted but we don't too often here well we do just not on a lump of land you just bought this one's got a hole in it as well but we're not losing sleep over it the thing is we're not even sure what type of tree it is yet it could be a willow it could be a silver birch but we don't know so we're waiting until we can get a little bit more of an idea but it's got a hole in it it's rotten in places I don't think the ivy's helped there's a nice missing patch possibly another trunk off there which has come down so then I look up because this is what I've been doing and I look up and Dawn says it's not quite finished so where I've been taking a little bit of shelter under the the trees and the ivy Dawn's been out in the open freeing up the rest of the wall each day it looks a little bit cleaner a little bit freer so what have you got to say for yourself about that? Well, I'm really pleased with it. I, um, I'm not actually convinced that it's a completely dry stone wall as I've gone along. I feel like I can see patches of water in it here and there. I, I'm not really sure. Um, oh, don't I look lovely? Yeah, you look great. <laughs> Uh, but I'm really pleased with it, yeah. don't get me wrong, I always um, go mm, Yeah, well. Dawn always does. But no, I am really pleased with it, it looks great. I'm going really carefully because we're presuming it's very, very old. Yeah, it looks very, very old. Um, and there's certain bits, I'm just not pulling unless I know they're loose. If I get any sign of resistance, I'm snipping them off rather than pulling them, pulling them, because I don't want to pull anything out that would then make it collapse, so. Isn't that lovely? It looks really good. It does look really nice. And I'm probably going to do the other side as well. Oh, <laughs> which at the moment, if I can lean over the barbed wire, there we go. So that's what it looks like at the moment. It's been left. But Murray, one of the neighbours, she went, oh yeah, expose it. So. It, it will look nice. It will look it nice. It really will look nice. It's a shame that it gets hidden because if it is as old as we think we it think might it be. We think it is. Like at least a couple of hundred years old. Why should it be all covered up? Yeah. It's not away. even covered up, is it? It's no. just. Ivy and over. moss and there's plenty of moss everywhere yeah. around oh, here. Oh, there's tons of moss. Things to grow in that, but and it will grow back. It's just it will. This way we can actually see if it needs repairing because that side has fallen. Yeah. That side's a little. That patch there's a little bit dodgy, but I think I said in yesterday's description it looks as if a vehicle went into it at some point. And push the corner. Maybe like tractors. And, yeah. Yeah. It was a farm at the end of the day. It That's was a right. working farm. Yeah. So it is what it is, isn't it? So the tree on for me, the tree on the right is an ash tree. We're hoping <laughs> it's a big hope. Yeah. It doesn't die of ash die back. Like it's looking really good. It is looking nice, at isn't the it? Top, yeah. yeah look, when we look at the ones that there, there's one to the right. Oh, there you go. Example. So this this one with the ivy growing up it, that's a dead ash tree, and ash dieback has done that. It's tried hard and died. But then when you look at this one, which is up here, it's still got its branches going up, and it doesn't look like they're panic branches no, as such. They look like real branches. Yeah. 
So you never know, 90% are apparently going to die. That leaves 10% and this may be one of those 10%. You never know. No. So I've cleared the, um, the ivy from around the trunk just to kill that ivy off. And the, we'll call it a willow silver birch. Oh, yeah. We're there as well sure, are we? no not yet so that's that's really good and then dawn yesterday and today just finished off clearing the ivy on the hawthorn trunk so yeah, that still needs the rest of the tree finishing but i just did the bits to allow us to get around yeah so then that just leaves the conquer so i'm walking down this way it actually looks like we've got a stream today because it because it's raining it's flowing into the tree and through the roots and out the other side so it does look like we've got a stream it's running quite nicely but anyway i digress because from here i can see the plum trees which must mean it's time for blossom watch It does mean we're getting wetter. Right, how many? Dawn can do the counting today. Oh, I don't want to do the counting. You don't want to do the counting? That's only because there's a lot more than yeah. yesterday. There's loads. There is there's loads. loads. <laughs> I'm hoping the camera does pick them up. Let's have a let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Uh, and that's without even actually looking up. Let's go with 25 there. One and a half, do you allow for halves? No, you can't have halves. Okay, 26. Sorry, just, yeah. So 26. Oh, yeah, its leaves are really, really coming out now. Sometimes it focuses, sometimes it doesn't. So 26, 27, Baby one there. 28, 29, 30 over the back. Sound like bingo. Yeah, 31. So we're matching yesterday's, now moving on to this one. 32, 33, 34, 35. 36, 37, they're getting sneaky, 38, 39, uh, 40, and on to the last bit, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 45, would you like to participate in the closing credits of Blossom Watch? Yes. Come on, if you stand there, mm -hmm. and we'll stand there, there we go. So what did we have? 40? I wasn't listening, I was going, I was looking. I can't remember. 45, I think. 45. We'll go yeah. with 45 today. You can look back over. I could. Mm. 45 blossoms <laughs> on today's episode of... Blossom Watch. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>it's been raining today the birds are still singing it's stopped now for a little while things are brightening up dawn's done a great job on the inside of the wall and uh, if i remember rightly she said she will be clearing the outside at some point so that really looking forward to being able to see that uh, the conquer tree ivy has now been let's say severed 
some of the bits are huge. So that'll be interesting to see what the ivy does on the coming days or over the coming days. I'll see if I can get the lake to show up for you. Because it's a lovely sight just to see the lake. It's about 300 meters away. It is um, a, a lovely, lovely sight. So end of day 28. Where have the days gone? Four weeks. But it's been an enjoyable four weeks. Hard work. I think in that four weeks, Dawn's been out here every day bar two, possibly three. Uh, luckily enough, I've been inside doing a little bit of editing on the odd days, especially at the beginning, trying to keep up. So Dawn has worked and worked and worked, but it really, really does look good. So thank you so much for joining us on yet another day, day 28, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.